Hi Brian, hi China. Uh, as promised, here the video with all the commands. Um, I'm gonna do it without dog. I think without the dog, uh, it's easier for you guys to understand. I think you guys have already a couple of videos of me training uh, with my dogs, and I think you already saw it there uh, how I uh, behave myself. So. I think by when you guys gonna see this video, I hope I can get it right because I have some problems with the video camera. So now I do it with a, you know, the small one. Uh, I will be already on the plane to you guys, and you can already start training now in front of the mirror to learn the right commands. Okay. So for me, in obedience and bike work, actually also I use as less commands as possible because the more different commands, the longer it takes to learn the dog. It, uh, the longer it takes. Uh, before the dogs understand, so I use as less commands as possible. Also, at the championship, if you're a little bit stressed and you have a lot of commands, maybe you get confused and you have problems. Okay? So, first exercise in the obedience, the healing. The command that I use for healing, foot. Same like in IPO. I prepare, I get it. I foot! He looks up, and I go. Um, there is a difference for me between the exercise healing and just between the for example when you have to go from the send away to the retrieving between the exercises actually I just use the command come that is doesn't have to be that concentrated you just have to come with me uh, while when I say put just to look up the next exercise I think the one the most difficult one for you guys to change the the the, the I to change the words is the changing of positions so what I the command that I use is for sit I use sit same like you guys for stand up I use to and for lay down I use deck so very easy sit to deck um, if you want to change it just first the English command and then the command that uh, I use so that you get introduced with your English or American <laughs> Uh, command okay so preparation before I come sit stay go away deck go sit you go back to him you are him. good so sit deck Okay. Uh, then for a minute down or in front of a, um, a jump to let him behind somewhere for the minute down or get the jump. I come, sit, stay. Stay is command to stay. Use that always when he has to stay for the minute down on the jump and he go away. Good. Then uh, I think I had the most important for the obedience then. I have the send away, not important, un unimportant, for the send away, to prepare him, to aim him to the right spot. I always put the sleeve up, vertically, horizontally, that's something definitely in the beginning when you start doing a new field, and I take his head and I aim his head. When it's the right direction, I confirm it, yeah, and I go a couple of steps, yeah, and do a couple of times. When you're 100% sure that he's right, that he's locked on target, up, you say, hinder. And hinder is the command to go forward. Not the name, just hinder. Good. Uh, I think then, ah, there are all the exercises uh, for the apport to use the same com command like you guys, apport. And for the retrieving, you use the same command. Uh, for the small wood, you use the same command, also apport. It's always the same command, as less commands as possible. Then, for a jump, preparing for a jump. I always put them like plus minus six till eight paces away from the jump. I prepare him, I get the jump, back to come, sit, stay, to uh, say that he has to stay, stay, side jump, and then his name, Aiki, hop! Just asking his name, Aiki, hop! And then when he's over the jump, deck! Now in the beginning, always put a sleeve or uh, a reward there. I mean, if you guys have to work uh, uh, without salary, you don't go the next month either. Eh? So I think you guys are experienced enough to, to know how much you have to reward and stuff. So 
and don't forget in the beginning take a couple of steps back okay then the bifurc for the bifurc to prepare in front of an attack you go standing with your back towards the decoy I come three meters sit stay the decoy starts work the horn comes I attack and he goes coming back with the whistle for the surge same command like in IPO Ribir he will surge go between the legs of the decoy bark decoy starts to do his transport when he doesn't escape you use again the command Tussen and that command gives the go between the legs Tussen is always the command to stay with the decoy if you have the defense, if you have the Gartel Ferrum like you have in the Frenching, you know, you have to do the attack and he has to guard the decoy Tussen up, poof, he goes between the legs so also in the beginning when he does that nice he walked it good and then you have the defense preparing him for a defense I get the defense then I come put Defense up and it stays with you. Easy like that. Good. Are there more questions? Just uh, send me a mail and I will show with another dog. I will show without the dog um, so you can see what and how. Okay. Perfect. Good. Now we're going to take Ike and I'm going to do a small program. I don't have a decoy or another person available for the moment. They're all working. So, uh, yeah, I will uh, explain you guys. I will show it as much as possible, but I can't show anything, so, okay? <coughs> so, first, still love, first exercise, healing. I put always the comment on my arm to help. I Changing of positions. Position. I come. Sit. Dick. Stay. Dick. Stay. He's a little bit crazy today. I think a little bit ancient to go. Okay, so just prepare. 
preparing, when you look the right way, good. And when you give a command, hinder. That's all. Next exercise. Retrieving. For the food refusal, it's exactly the same like the minute down, except instead of that you say stay, you say fuya, and then he knows that it's not allowed to come on the foot. Okay, now I'm going to show you two jumps, the long jump and uh, the hurdle. I will start with the hurdle, okay? Voilà. 
Well, that was a little bit it, the beanie. Then for between the legs with the with the defense or with the search, touchdown. Voilà, again. Touchdown. Touchdown. Voilà. Good boy. One thing that I almost forgot to tell you guys was when you call them back for an attack or for the send away, I always go stand like this and on training I always have this under my hands, like this. And I call him back, he comes in front, he gets the reward. And when I stand in on competition like this, but the thing is not under it, the dog still thinks that it's under it. So it's a little bit cheating, but if you don't tell, I don't tell. But uh, the dog knows that it's there, I will show you.